Mark just found the Mecca of Viking. I can't take any of it. I can't. I told you we should have brought that extra suitcase, but you said no. <laughs> Well, hello everybody, and welcome to my channel. And look, that there's a palm tree. Well, that's several palm trees. And I'm in Las Vegas, and I am at, I never know, Paradise Valley Antique Mall. And guess who brought me here? That lady. She lives in Vegas. She gets to see palm trees all the time. Oh, it's not, they don't have palm trees running around? No, we have corn. Oh. And oak trees. We have we oak trees. We don't have that. We have grass. We got grass. <laughs> but Mark is here with us, and today Danny's looking for a hundred dollar. You have to watch her her video. She's looking for a hundred dollar piece of glass. glass, and I'm looking for Liberace. So there we go. we're gonna go do this today. Oh, I've seen these puzzle boxes before. I actually had a cat one. The one I had. Oh yeah, see the one I had was missing this little piece here too. So it's making me think. Is it supposed to be like that? I hate when they're missing a piece. I know. It's so cool. It's like a. It's a dragon. Oh, here's some treasure craft, or are you, or are I you think not? Or yeah. Sequoia? It might be Sequoia, because maybe I think usually treasure mark, mark, treasure craft is marked. Mm. Where's George when you need him? Right. Well, you know you're in Vegas when you got a uh, slot machine in the antique mall. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, she's cool. She is a vanity. She'll hold your lipsticks. Yeah, she's cool. 2004, so she's teetered on that line. Oh, 25% off? Danny's got good eyes. That is a cowboy lamp. Oh, and there's James Dean. Hi, Jimmy. Oh my gosh. Do you remember these? I'm surprised we haven't saw any more of these. Mark's going to have to see this. Oh my. We had one. Actually, we had one that had like a little carry case, and you had oh, a yeah. Oh wow. yeah. yeah, oh yeah. Oh, look. Hello, 1989, maybe Ish. called. <laughs> and they went their cell phone back. That's pretty cool. I wondered when we were gonna start seeing these more readily. Mark, look. <laughs> Remember these? I do. I do. That's I funny. So this is forty-five dollars. There you go. Get all your cell phones out from the 1980s. There were some money. Look, there's Poe. Poe, are you the naughty Poe? Jaden would like this. I used to have, my kids had all of these. Tinky Winky, Dipsy, Poe. He's $25. Jeesh. Yeah. Lots of sales. We like sales. Look, these do not sell for me much anymore. Me neither. They've kind of like, we're like, okay, we're done. Because I don't even buy them anymore. I oh, I know. There's a lot of them here. Look at these little vintage dwarfs for $10. Look at his face. There's, I think, I don't know who you are. I know you're sleepy. Bashful? Doc? I think that they're bootleg. Oh, no. No, these are Disney. I think the one in the middle is a bootleg one, though. He looks a little different. But $10 doesn't seem like a bad price. And uh, Is he like Barbie dwarf? I think he, I don't know. He's got his hot pink going. <laughs> He's a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Talk about Barbies. Wow. This is the Barbie booth in here. 50% off everything in this booth. You got Barbies and horses. All kinds of cool stuff. So this booth is 20% off. There's lots of sales in this booth, in this mall. So that's good to see. You know, sometimes you go into antique malls, and I know that the antique malls sometimes control, they don't let their vendors run sales, and I am opposed. I am, ooh, this is beautiful. I like it when antique malls allow their, um, their vendors to have booths because some booths need to have a sale because they really need to, they really need to run through their inventory. <gasps> oh, I like those. They are shafford, but gosh darn it, you pixie, you're, whole, you're hiding the price tag. Um, Mrs. Claus, she, I think she's Holt Howard. She might be either Lufton or Holt Howard, her. She is a single. She's not miss, She's missing her, her man. Santa's missing. These are Holt Howard. They're $22 for a set of two. Those are $85 for the bunny ones. 
the little uh, Anarcho mini, mini ones. They're 47 firm. This looks like a fun booth, though. Oh my gosh, look at the pigs. Look at the pig Christmas tree. You see that, Becca? See that, Becca? Becca would like that. It's a uh, thirty dollars. So Becca, I would have to, I would have to charge sixty dollars for it. So I don't think that that, I don't think I can do that. And honestly, I'm not really buying much today. I'm just visiting. That doesn't mean that if I don't see something that I can't live without. Like I really like this here whale piggy bank. He's eighteen dollars. I don't think this booth is having a sale. This is my kind of booth, right here. I feel right at home. Look at all these kitschy. <gasps> Oh my goodness, look at these cats. They are $17. That is a painted face there. Those are like little studio painted cats. This little black cat is $8. Look, there's a huggable hippo. I don't really buy Avon. I don't know. I don't think that that is too cool of a container. This is beautiful though. Michael just sold one of these. So it's $25, but man, this time of year, oh, it's flashed. Okay, so it's flashed. So you, you're looking at it and you're like, ooh, but if you hold it up to the light, can you see that clear glass? That means it's a clear glass turkey that they've sprayed with this orange and red to make it look amberina. So it does affect the value a little bit. So I'm not gonna get that. I have those plates, those trays. But, oh, I love this booth. You're a good booth, booth. Look, that's a dragon nightlight. Look at these little. They're like, I love you. I'm going to give you a hug. He's moving in on her, and she's like, I don't know. Those are really, really cute. They're made in Japan. $20 for those. There's a little cased vase for $36. Some Bradley dolls for $30. And we're just kind of window shopping. You're window shopping with me. Unless I see something that I can't refuse. But I only have so much room in my suitcase, too. All right. So we've got some Murano bowls. And that's an inflatable pumpkin. Oh, is that one of those? What do you do with that hole? Wait a minute. What is this? What does it say? Inflatable pumpkin for a dollar. I don't know that I want to stick my finger in that hole anymore. Oh, well, that's interesting. Oh, this is a cute little cat. Are you Royal Copley? No, you're not. You're Cracker Barrel. <laughs> so, you know what? Do you know what? We do that sometimes. Where, how, wait, what's going on with my camera? You know, sometimes we think things are Royal Copley and they're Cracker Barrel. I mean, it happens. Made in China Cracker Barrel. But some Cracker Barrel things can be worth a little bit. I don't know why I'm so close. Could agree, but you're $20. My goodness, look at this little guy. He's a little sheep knitting in this little rocking chair. <gasps> He's only $8. He's also made in China, but my goodness. Look at how cute he is with his little crochet needles. That's adorable. All right, I see a Viking swung vase for $100. It is the cabbage leaf. It does have a nice little yip yip mouth on it, though I do like that. It does have the original sticker. It's $100 firm. We also have some tiki glasses I like as well. And then this is also a fairy lamp. And this one does, now it's, it's flashed, I can tell. Can you kind of see, you can kind of see the paint coming off right there. So that one is flash and it is 35 firm. I really like that Epcot Center uh, figment mug. It's 20 and then we've got, oh, garbage pail kits for $55. I'm always looking for some, but I kind of want to just find them like in a, someone's garage that they've forgotten about and they don't know what, you know, they're like, it was their kids and they want to get rid of them. That's when I want to find. I don't want to find it necessarily where someone else has found it. And you know you know what I mean. Pheasants for 15. Cows, turkeys. No. Yeah, you're turkeys, not chickens. And, ooh, these are different. Bormoli, roque, roco, blue, curved, stem, footed, made in Italy. Look at that. That is interesting, right? Huh. Oh, what'd you find, Mark? That's Viking. 
How much is it? I feel like that's not a bad price. No, that is a great price. Gosh darn it, why do you have to find a big piece of glass for? We need to show it to Danny though. Mark just found the Mecca of Viking. I can't take any of it. I can't. I told you we should have brought that extra suitcase, but you said no. No, this is also Viking too, this little dog here. But we'll show these to Danny. It's just 23. But I do like this. This is the, well, this is a tri-foot. I don't know if that's the technical name, but that's what I call it. Because it's got these little, it's a drape. You can see the drape right there. And it's got these three feet. What do they call it? I don't know. Flat-footed drape vase. I mean, we all have our own little names for things sometimes. We, we, we do the best that we can. You know, like saying that something is uh, is uh, a pounder? huh? A pounder? No, I found I thought it was something else, and it was made in Cracker Barrel. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we do those things, but I do like this. And this is the cabbage leaf Viking compote. This is Fostoria for twenty dollars. The heirloom. That's pretty. I mean, really good prices. I mean, who'd have thought you come to Vegas and you can still find things for really nice prices? Oh, little Shawnee kitty cat. I've got this set. It was my husband's, some of his family. It's $19 for the little Puss in Boot creamer made by uh, Shawnee. Oh, look at the little troll. And Bambi. And Homeco. These are egg coddlers. This is a cool booth. I like it. Oh my. <laughs> We're kind of like having all kinds of blasts from the past. Like, you knew, like, you were something special. Ooh, it's even Fisher. Remember when Fisher, and, like, when your stereo was in a cabinet like this, and you'd have to, you know, it was because it was part of your furniture, basically. Wow. I wonder if it still works. How, is there a price tag on it? I see a price. That is a blast from time. And then this. Is that a tape recorder? This? Yeah. Yep. Wow. $70. Wow. Get your stuff out. Oh, she's naked. That lady is. All right, I see a little fella down here that I like. Oh my gosh, he's a little dapper fella. He's $30. He'll hold your little pins. Isn't he cute? He's adorable. Look at these vintage glasses. Those are really neat too. These are aluminum. Aluminum frames from the 1950s for $95. Those are cool. I from around the way, look at all the Halloween. That guy right there, I sold one sort of like him. That is not a bad price. $55. So we've got these candy containers, $65, $65. The little pumpkin, that's $45 as is because I think that he's got some damage on the back. But that one right there, he's $170. You can see this one, he's got the original paper insert, which makes him pretty valuable. That's about right on target with what their value is, but it's so cool to see all this vintage Halloween. Look at that Salem 1699, that little uh, dish down there for $35. Well, I'm looking for Liberace, and I haven't found him yet, but I did find Al Capone, so there's that. I don't know, did Al Capone? No. He didn't come to Vegas because Vegas wasn't even around when Al Capone was alive, I don't think. So no, but I bet you if he was, he would be, he would have been here. Right, as I was walking by, I saw this. This. This is cool. This is a vintage Halloween wiener dog. I'm trying to see. It says, do not handle the dog. Darling dog. Uh, what does it say? Something nose missing eye. As is $21. But he's made out of styrofoam. Isn't he cool? Somebody should love him again. Well, that there is a lot of Hummel. That's a lot of Hummels in there. Oh, but looky here. Look. There's a Cupie. Little Cupie girl. How much are you, Cupie girl? You are $55. You're a Rose Art Cupie. I like looking at the vintage toy. One, one channel that I recommend watching, he's a fellow Hoosier, is Froggy Flips. We, Mark and I really like watching his channels, and he does a lot of vintage toys and stuff like that. It's really pretty interesting. He does a lot of things that we remember in our childhood, like uh, Dick Tracy. That was the bad guy in Dick Tracy. What was, what was his name? Flathead? I remember Dick Tracy, but I don't remember what these guys' names were. 
You finding anything, Mark? No. I feel like I'm not supposed to be back here. I, yeah, it's kind of awesome. <laughs> It's like the back of the thing. I'm like feeling like I'm doing something wrong. I'm gonna go on this other side here. Okay. Oh my, look at that baby. No, that's not a baby. That is a monster. That is a, yikes. That's a gluttonous pustule monster. What's it say? He's 180, he's a horror head. Don't handle him. He might bite you. Oh my gosh. Okay, I wonder if we're going to find Liberace in here. Okay, I'm going to look. I'm on a mission to find Liberace, King and I, Steve McQueen, Bing, Tony Curtis, uh, golly, James something. Okay, I'm going to look for Liberace. Surely Liberace is in with all these fellas. Ah, oh, your thing fell down again, monster. Ooh, there's Errol Flynn. He was something else, wasn't he? Do y'all know that? Oh, talk about pustule fill. No. I'm not going to go there, but who are you? You're too, you're too new to be in here with these people. It looks like Majolica for $30. You get all four of them. Yep, it is Majolica. Germany. Those are beautiful. The little cherries and the butterfly. Well, this booth makes me happy because it's all color coordinated and I like that. So we've got the pink and the white, some oranges and reds. This is a little bit of a mixture. But we've got some reds and blues. I like to see a color coordination going on in a booth. There's something that's aesthetically pleasing about it to me. It's nice and organized. So good job, booth. Oh, we got some more Holt Howard Angel candle holders. I love that little bellhop guy. You see him right there? Isn't he cute? I love the colors on him. He is. I can't tell how much it is. I thought it was a $30, but I think that's for the jewelry that's in there. And then we've got... Oh, it's 30% off? Oh, okay. All right. Well, we've got the Mad Hatter right here, too. We've got some Florence ceramics. So this might be some fun things. We've got... Oh, I see Cupies. Cupie for $36. i have never seen one with a little planter on the back of it. That's cute. A cute little Cupie. Lots of Joseph. I typically stay away from the birthday girls. I like the Joseph, the figures, like the little, the little animals. Oh, look, here's another little, this is a cigarette holder right here. Isn't this funny? So they made these cool little, like, kitschy, like, you think it would look for, like, for a child. But that, those holes, that'll hold your cigarettes in there. That's nice. Um, I can't see how much it is, though, because it's, the tag's turned off. This little guy's from Czechoslovakia. They put a bunch of pins in him. They did. He'll hold all your pins. We've got some happy girls. Uh, I don't know if any of them are, yeah, that, she says she's German there. I think these are all locked, so I can't get in. We've got some Yadro up there as well. Still on my mission to look. Now, we've got Elvis, but we need Liberace. Liberace is who we are looking for today. Well, let's see if she's in here. There she is. Sewing Susan. I hate that we're finding Sewing Susan and not Liberace. She's such a bragger. These are kind of neat though. Reliance Metal Book. The Sewing Club. Susan's not invited to the Sewing Club because she's such a bragger. But yeah, this is a neat booth. They've got all this like advertisements and tins. That's Georges Briard. Georges Briard. For how much are you? Thirty-eight dollars doesn't seem like a bad price for Georges. Georges Briard. But yeah, this is cool. Too bad Enamor Amy isn't here. She'd be having a field day. Finding some of these tins that she can turn into her crafts, like this emerald. She looks for, ooh, that has the lid. Uh, $25. That would be cool for St. Patrick's Day. Okay, well, I just found something I fell in love with. Look at this guy. He has, he's a matchstick holder. And he's $125, but I mean, I can see why. He's charming. His head and his feet will hold your matches. And then, when you're smoking your cigarette, you can put your ashes in his mouth. He's very handy. Well, I don't think he has any hands. Yeah, he does. But he's down, his hands are down there. 
but I like him. All right, I love these ladies. They're bisque. I love her. They are $35 each. We've got a little bit like a Royal Copenhagen vibe going on right there. But this is also for your cigarettes. This booth had a collection of cigarette things. All right, so we've got Wayne Newton, Frank Sinatra. Where is Liberace? I mean, I'm going to be really upset if nobody has anything Liberace in here. Because he's Mr. Showmanship. He should be represented. We got Sammy Davis Jr. Jr. right there. Where are you, Liberace? Look at that. That there's Jim Belushi. That is I think that's Jim Belushi, right? Yeah. Jim John Belushi, not Jim. Ooh, that's your brother. John Belushi as the killer bee. I like him. He'll fit in my suitcase. It's John Belushi as the killer bee. Why do I like him? I don't know. I don't know why. That is a cool little horn. Glass horn. I am. I do like weird things. This is pretty, Danny. That purple. Twisty. A February angel for 35. Gosh darn you angels. Why are you all so expensive? Got some sheet music here. Here we go. That silver haired daddy of mine. Like all of the, oh, Alexander's ragtime band. All of these sheet music, you know, Liberace played the piano. I want to find Liberace sheet music. New Faces of 1937. Oh, I'm getting this one. Oh, yes. S Madam Sophie Tucker, my lady. It's $3. That'll fit in my suitcase. <gasps> She's the original red hot mama. She is. Two cigarettes in the dark. And the angels sing. Casse Mignana. Bean Crosby. He was honestly not that nice of a man. They didn't believe me. Rudy Valley. Sacrament. A love story. Oh, a love song. Oh, Miss Glory. That's Marion Davies. Got a little bit of damage right there. I might have bought that one. Beautiful. Come on, Liberace. The Al Jol No. Yeah, the Jolson story. Mm. Oh, come on now. But at least I found Sophie Tucker. So, I mean, that's it's better than nothing. Here's the big boy. Big boy. $75. Are you... I think that he is vintage, but okay. I wasn't expecting that. What do I know? I guess I don't realize that big boy is worth $75. Fenton Carnival swung base. Not the April showers one, but still a nice one. Oh, hi, baby. Hi. Composition, baby. I just want to sip coffee and pet my dog. Look at Cupy Composite Cupy. Now, it's not Scoodles. It's actually Cupy. And it is made by Cameo, and it is $325, which, I don't know, that that's worth that, but they're, they can be worth a little bit of money, but that one's in really pretty good condition, and it looks like she's got on her original clothes. She probably has a little heart underneath her little jammies there, possibly her original socks. I don't know, but she's pretty cute. Oh my gosh, look at these, look at these little pig mugs. Those are cute. They're studio piece. $20 for the set of them. Those are adorable. They'd be cute with a little plant in them, too. I like stuff like this. What do these guys do? Oh, I bet they said a lot of fun things. Their batteries must be dead. Yeah. We can't know what they're going to say. We've got some toys over here. And it looks like in this little room here, we've got Christmas. Hi, Santa. We have this exact same Santa. We do. So let's see if we've got any good Christmas. Oh my gosh, look at these little babies. $95. She is, uh, oh my gosh, well, something's going on with your arms, girl. All these old fans are cool. This one right here is $189. I bet it works like a charm. And look at the heater. The orange heater, the Lady Ascot heater. I don't know if I can see the part. Oh yeah, here it is. Thirty-seven fifty. Oh, does it say that it works though? Doesn't say. 
but I think it's pretty cool. And all the light fixtures up here too. Oh, it's fun. It's total Liberace, man. I'm gonna be really sad. Little girl here, she's a little uh, November. George Zoltan Lefton. She's got some broken pedals though. She's thirty-three dollars. Can't do that. But like I said, I'm we're just here exploring this antique mall. I'm not really. I bought that one. I'm buying that one piece of sheet music with Sophie Tucker on it. Huh? How are we going to get that back? We can put the sheet music in our suitcase. Look at this little baby. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. Look, here's some celluloid babies, too. And a, a chocolate mold back there. Look what I found. It's $15. Aw. I love you, Liberace, but I'm not going to spend $15 on your sheet music. I'm sorry, sir, but I found them. There he is, Mr. Showmanship himself. I'll be seeing you. If the cover was like more of like his whole face, I probably would spend $15 on it. But I did it. I did it. I found it. I knew it. I knew you'd be in here somewhere, Liberace. Oh, I like Hoagie Carmichael, though. Why did you have to write on it, uh, Keith? What you got to write on the sheet music for, Keith? Now I got to look and see if there's any more in here of... Liberace. Uh, no, there's not, but yay. All right, look at here. Those little spun heads. Christmas ornaments. $20. I don't know that this booth is running a sale, but those are, look, there's Santa. His face is kind of melted off a little bit, but got Santa and Snowman and all the gang. It's pretty cool to see in the original box. Let's see what else is in this booth. There's some girly. Are you original? Yeah, you are. Original girly. G-U-R-L-E-Y. Candles. And that's a cool picture there. I think it's a reproduction, but it's still cool. Tony Curtis. Oh, you are Christ. K-R-E-I-S-S -S for $13. Your jeweled eyed. There would have been a set of three of them. We just got one fellow left. Mark says, I'm going to like this booth, and I'm already telling you that I do. I see Woodsy. Give a hoot. Don't pollute. Look at this little iron. Oh, my goodness. And look at the little goobers. All those goobers there. They're $100. Got some putts houses. This little Rudolph iron is $75. Look at the Paramount tree top. Tree topper. Fantastic plastic Santa. Some vintage. Oh, we have a Russian elf. We have a Russian Coca-Cola Santa. For $150, honestly, that's not bad. I mean, it's close. It's close to what I would be able to sell them for. I probably would be able to sell them for $150. But if you're wanting to buy one for your collection. Now, if he was pink or green or yellow or chartreuse, he would be double that. But that's not bad. And then we've got... Look at that. That Santa right there. I can't hardly see him because I'm too short. Look at this. Snowman. Lamp. And his little nose is the light bulb. Those are Joseph. That's a leaking. With all these shiny brights, this is a cool booth. Very, very cool. We got the Wiener Mobile. Oh, these are good. These Beatles. $450. For the Beatles. I don't think if they were Kamar. I can't. They're from the 1960s. But I can't. Off the top of my head. I can't think of who made them. But I like this booth. Look at the Magic Kingdom. The romper room. In the box. This is like. I could live in this booth right now. <laughs> Put me a little bed right so there. Very yeah. The whole family. Did you know they had maids? Yeah. They had little babies. Bun bun? Yeah. And their animals, their animals were, had little names too. You never told me they had a baby named Bun Bun. I, I like this Frankenstein Soaky. <laughs> Misty's been holding out on me. Frankenstein Soaky. I like Bum 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 Bums. Do y'all remember these? This is how we entertained ourselves, children. We didn't have iPads. We didn't have all these electronics. We had plastic horses that you did this to. 
And you did this for a long time. Oh, this kept you entertained. And if you didn't like it, you knew to keep your mouth shut or you were really going to get it. Let me know in the comments. Was this your iPad when you were a child? That and the water toy. Remember the water toy where you fill it with water and you have to push the little buttons and it float the little ring? Oh, here's a giraffe here. Let's give the giraffe a try. Hours of entertainment. Here's another blast from the past. Man, could you imagine walking around carrying that on your shoulder back in the 80s? Good, 680. I'm telling you what, people. I know that you, some of you probably have a boom box very sim similar to this in your garage right now. Right. Or you're at it. Get it out because it's selling. This is what the kids are wanting these days. They're wanting all of our stuff. I, although, I really don't think that they want the little horse springy thing, but you know, those electronics they really want. Look, Danny. Oh my gosh. The kids are wanting these things these days. Down, right, but I mean, again. I'm telling people if they've got they've got these in their garages and their attics, and they yeah. don't even know. Look how much. Yeah. This is what the kids are wanting these days. They're not wanting the little springy things, but they are wanting their our old electronics. Look, I found Libra. I already have this album, but we found him again, twice. See, I knew we would speak his name, and he would appear for us. He would. You need to put him. You need to be up here. There, so you can be seen a little bit better, Lee. Well, here's an interesting record: flying missiles, atomic bombs, and the second coming of Jesus Christ. None other than good old Jimmy Swaggered. You remember him? He hasn't been around in a while. Well, I don't know that he's around at all. But I mean, you know what I mean. You haven't heard his name in a while. I know I haven't. That's that was a that was a title. That's for sure. Well, that was fun here at Paradise Valley Antique Mall in Las Vegas, kind of over by the airport, not far from the airport. So that was a lot of fun. So thank you, Danny, for bringing us over here so we can explore. I just got Sophie Tucker, but I did find Liberace twice. And if I didn't already have that Liberace record, I probably would have bought that. But this is great seeing, you, I can see pine, not pine trees, good grief, palm trees in the mountains in the distance. So this was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for shopping with us today. We, it was just kind of fun. Just kind of being, kind of going in knowing I really wasn't gonna buy much of anything, but I was, you know, I had a mission statement. But thank you guys so much for shopping with us and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Hello friends, thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget I have a second channel, The Misty Show. I would love for you to come over and follow me. Also, don't forget that I have live sales every Tuesday at one o'clock Eastern right here on my YouTube channel. And go ahead and check out the virtual antique marketplace. It is an online antique mall. There's lots of different booths and lots of different sellers. So go check that out. The link to everything is down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I will see you in the next one. Like a bald head, a man put his hair in the middle. Red hot mama, red hot mama, but I have to turn my temper down.